Amen. We want to come before the Lord and confess our sins. The word of God says that if we say we have no sin in our lives, and we make God out to be a liar, but if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We want to come before God. His word said that His hand is not too short to see. Or is here down to hear our prayers, but it's our sins that are separated us from God. Even the ox knows its master's grave, but as for Israel, they do not know. Has a nation ever changed its gods? Certainly, a nation has never changed its gods, but we keep on changing our God. We keep on giving, bowing to other gods. What to come before God and say, that, Lord, have mercy on us. If someone has offended you, want to go to God and say, that, Lord, help me to let go and let's go. And let's go. Shall we pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Sins of omission, sins of commission, ignorance, sins, whatever it is. We are saying, Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for mercy, Lord. Last of the eyes. The mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. I want us to pray. We are praying that even as the man of God comes on, 
We are praying that let the baptism of the Holy Ghost come upon all of us. We are praying that let there be a refreshing in your soul, in your soul. Let there be a revival this morning. We are praying that even as the man of God comes to deliver and lead us in prayer, we are soaking him in the blood and you are soaking yourself in the blood. You are soaking your children in the blood. You are soaking everyone in the blood. Now may God cover you and may there be a revival in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray? In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We want to pray. I keep on seeing an open door. I, I don't know. Oh, I keep on seeing an open door, a door swinging in the spirit, an open door. So we want us to pray. I want us to lift up a prayer. Isaiah 22, verse 22. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Isaiah 22, verse 22. It says that, and I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As 22, verse 22. And I'll place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. I want us to lift up the prayer. You want to say, Oh Lord, let the doors, any door in my life that is supposed to be open, let it remain open. Let any hand of the wicked one try to shut any door. I don't know. I keep on seeing the door. I see doors that are opening. I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Bring in yourself and your family that let that door remain open. And any evil door, may it remain shut in your life. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? I want to lift up prayer that may God continue 
cause his door of blessing to be open over your life, to be open in your life. And any door of evil, door of sickness, any door that is not of him, door of financial difficulty, door of rebellion, any door that is not of God, let it remain shut in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. let that dog 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 let let that dog go. Let that dog go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that travel go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that name of Jesus. Let that grant come from. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that grant come from. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that Ya <laughs> <laughs> 
the Lord is going to make it possible. The Amen. Lord is going to expedite it. And it will come to pass. And you'll give Amen. a testimony. Amen. That has been your prayer. I don't know whether you pray, but that is what I'm hearing. Yes. That, that has been your prayer. And yes. I pray that may the Lord himself surprise you. And may he honor you. Anyone Amen. that has looked down upon you, may God put his glory upon you. That Amen. those who will see you and be surprised. Those uh-huh. who speak evil about you, they'll see you and be ashamed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, and may God turn your destiny around. May you Amen. walk in your prophetic destiny. Jesus the Lord Amen. said, I told you that you are going to walk in your prophetic destiny. And for you to Amen. tell your sister, the one, I think the one that is in the US, that sickness will not have its way over her body. That so her, the enemy hasn't won yet. Whatever she's going through, I see a change of jobs also around your sister. And Amen. the Lord says that no plan concerning immigration, no shame and disgrace will come. Amen. No shame and disgrace. There will be no shame and disgrace. The Lord is going to honor you. Just, just, just wait on God. Just be positioned. Just obey God. When I say position, simply means just obey the Lord. Just obey God. Just be holy. Just do what God expects you to do and be prayerful. Okay. And you see these things fall into alignment. The boundaries will fall for you in pleasant mm-hmm. places. Mama mm-hmm. Jane, the Lord just spoke to me and said that even as you said in the mighty name of Jesus, there was a connection to the UK as you said that, that the Lord moved me in the spirit to the United Kingdom around Surrey, the Surrey area. I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever God is about to do for his daughter, his beloved Esther, may he do the same thing for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever your secret prayer is, we declare in the name of Jesus, may God turn things around for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for anyone. I pray in the name of Jesus. that as the Lord is doing it for our sister, I like parasiting things. May the Lord do it for you too. May the Lord do it for Edwina. May the Lord do it for anyone that is saying amen in your amen. heart or your typing. May the Lord do it for you. May amen. the Lord turn things around. You also deserve good things. Good things are from the Lord. You also deserve something good. If it is God's will for you to be here, may it be so. You prosper in the land. If it is God's will for you to be somewhere, may you be in that prophetic destiny. Any amen. delays around your life, let those delays be broken. In the name of Jesus. And I declare that let any delay around you, Dr. Anakofi, the Lord said, I should break the delays. That I should break complications around your situation. We declare that let every complication, let it be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. I yes. speak in the name of Jesus and declare that may God give you peace and may God cause you to be settled on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I pray for a release of that contract. I pray for a release of that contract over you. Let it be released wherever it is hidden, whatever takes it away. That while you are close to the door of breakthrough, something happens. We declare that let that agenda, let that power, let that spirit, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. People of God, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the man of God for this morning, the man who will be leading us in prayer. He's a man that I've come to love, a humble man of God, a genuine man of God, an anointed man of God from the Great Commission Assemblies of God Church. And we are privileged to have him lead us this morning. So please help me welcome Pastor Ransford Quache, the ministry of Pastor Ransford. Pastor Ransford will be taking us through prayer from now to about 7.45. Man of God, you are welcome. Thank, yeah, you. Are Thank you so much. Yes. Praise the Lord. We thank God so much for this morning. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to God and thank you to Prophet Pabra Opoku, uh, such a wonderful man of God. 
a very humble man of God. I've come to love him so much. And I believe that I'm not going to take this opportunity for granted. But the Lord is going to bless us. Hallelujah. Uh, I bring greetings from the throne room of God to all of you. And I believe today God is going to bless our life tremendously. And Amen. each one listening to me is going to receive a gift. Amen. You, know when a pro- you know, when a prophet is leading, he captures certain things. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to say a few things before we start the word of God. Today, when I was praying, the Lord revealed certain things to me. And he said, share this. And the Lord told me that there is a man here who is suffering from premature ejaculation. And the Lord told me that he's been battling with it for some time. He is aware of it. He knows it. And he is going to correct that error. The Lord said it's not from him. He's going to correct it. And that I should declare healing. <laughs> and then from tonight, the person will receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord also revealed to me, and he said that there is a cancer. Whilst I was praying this dawn, the Lord said to me, My son, there is a cancer that is coming out of someone. Jesus. And the Lord said, Prophesy and declare that this cancer will shrink. So whoever has a cancer, whether your family member or whoever, we prophesy in the name of Jesus that let that cancer shrink by the power of the Holy Spirit. She takes authority against cancer in the name of Jesus. Cancer lose your hold. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And then the Lord also told me that there are ancient mantles. And he told me, will I not get my people ready for the times ahead? For the times ahead of us are times of evil. And then I'm preparing some people to meet those times with prayer and intensity. And he said, will I not prepare yes. my people for those times? Have I, not see, have I not seen ahead what is coming? And the Lord said, I'm going to share ancient mantles. And ancient mantles are going to fall on people today whilst we are praying. Amen. That's what the, the Lord was telling me because I, I asked the Lord, what is happening? What is going to happen? And I mm. believe that whosoever shall position him himself well will receive mm. an ancient mantle. Amen. I release it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it come upon your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Release it in the local city of Alakashite Maha, in Kamala Kamalika, somebody pray to me this right now. I want to in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Another thing, the last thing I want to share that Lord told me, I think Prophet Oboku has picked it already. <laughs> and this is just a confirmation. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said it 
He said, there are certain doors that are going to open. The Lord mm-hmm. specifically told me that there are a lot of doors that are going to open. And mm-hmm. there are a lot of doors that will open that are not from God. And the Lord told me that they will go ahead of certain people and open certain doors as if it's from him. But it's not from him. And that will open a door or an access into people's lives. And the Lord said that, son, even as we pray to open doors, we should also pray to close certain doors. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We, are led. we, we, we need to be alert as children of God. In the name of Jesus. We pray that this morning God will be a blessing to you. We pray that God will touch your life. We pray that God will open your eyes. God will open your heart. So that the word of God will enter your spirit. And the light will break forth out of your spirit. I see a thick darkness. And it's like a blanket on someone. And you are not of yourself. Because of that, you are not of yourself. Whatever you are doing, you can't do it. The Lord is telling me that blanket of darkness is being lifted. Amen. 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 It is lifted right now. Amen. You know what, Sakata? You will be able to pray. You will be able to read the word of God. Amen. The Lord is telling you specifically, you are not able to pray because something is suppressing your life. Something is pushing you down. Lakata, something is striving with you. Something demonic, something... Something powerful is trying to suppress you. But to this morning, it is lifted in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is lifted in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Anytime you are having your menstruation, like your ab- abdomen, somewhere I feel oh. it right now, I can see somewhere your abdomen, you, you go through a lot of pain. Uh, we want to use this person as a point of contact to pray for all people who are facing that issue. Today is the end of that issue. Open your mouth and begin to pray for two minutes. Today the Lord is giving me a word of, a lot of word of knowledge. Mm. I don't know why. I'm not yes, able God. to stick to what I brought here. Maybe because I'm connected to the prophetic platform. <laughs> I I see, I perceive in my spirit, and I see in my spirit a little child. I don't know the way I'm seeing it. I see the child has some dis- disability, oh. some small disability, and the child is crying. In the spirit, come, 
to my aid. Please come and help me. I don't know what is happening. I know the Jesus. eyes of the prophet can see. Mm. But uh, we want to follow the leadings of the spirit. Please forgive me. But we want to pray Lord, for this Lord. child. Lord. And say, Lord, for this child. Whether oh, it is Jesus. like any child going through some trouble, going through something. Yes, and Lord. the prayer of the saint. And the intervention yes. of the saint. Oh, Lord. Oh, that child can for that child. I don't know. It may be a child connected to you. It may be a family member. Oh, let's begin to pray the Lord. Let's come to the Lord. Let's come to the Lord. Let's come to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh no, 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 no. Today, today, Amen. today the Holy Ghost is taking the prayer. I thank God. Whilst we are still praying, the Lord thank said to me, mm. there are a lot of pregnant women. And their children are also crying for help. Yes, so Lord. the Lord is telling me that there are a lot of attack on babies in their mother's womb. Because the enemy has perceived their star. Oh, yeah. and, and as we are speaking, God is telling me that there is so much attack on certain, uh, certain children in their mother's womb. Jesus. And the Lord is saying, uh, let the saint lift a prayer. <laughs> oh, 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 Lord. He said, let the saint pray and present the life of these destinies. Amen. Grandma is calling you. And say, Lord, but present I'm, the I'm life true. of this unborn destiny. Remember when Jesus was about to be born, the Bible said that Harold stopped after his life. Harold stopped after the life of mercy. What do you care about? Seeking after the life of destiny ah. in the womb, ah. in the Nabalika, oh, in the spirit, 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 in the Oh, 
Beloved, before we share the word of the Lord, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, uh, I don't know what is happening, but uh, yesterday the Lord did something to me whilst I was praying. And just as I'm praying right now, the Holy Ghost brought it to my remembrance and said, remember what I revealed to you yesterday. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And I, I saw, I saw a woman. I saw a woman. Jesus. And the womb of the woman was tied. Mm. The womb of the woman was tied. And the Lord said that this is not from me. So let the saints lift their prayer. And I hear the Lord saying that you this woman as a point of contact to pray for all women who are close, who are barren. Maybe you know someone who is barren. Maybe you know someone who believes God by child. Let's go with me. Let's move from self and move to others today. Because the Lord is leading us to pray for others. Amen. We want to pray the Lord. Let that will be untied. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And may anybody whose womb have been tied. And any woman, we are trusting God by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Let the wounds be open. If you want Amen. someone, mention the name of the person. Let me see God pray right now. Lift the prayer right now. Lift the prayer in the Holy Ghost. 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 in the name of Jesus Amen. oh type uh, type in the uh, this and say it is working no say, say some say it's working type there and say it is working it's working it's working something is happening amen I see power changing hands and things shifting in the spirit Amen. Things are shifting. Power, power is changing hands. And, and I see men and women changing. I see people growing all of a sudden. 
becoming mighty and great. I see giants in the realms of the spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I want us to share the word of God. I, I, I'm a teacher and I believe in the word. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Uh, my dominant area is teaching and I believe in teaching. If I don't teach, I can't close. I want to teach for five minutes. Hallelujah. Five, ten minutes. Let's go to Daniel chapter 9, verse 2. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Israel or Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share a word with you. By the grace of God, we find ourselves in an era of the prophetic. And God is always speaking to us. God is giving us direction. In the economy of God, it is written that God will not do anything except he reveals to the, his prophet, the servants. Hallelujah. So God, by his faithfulness and his justice, cannot deny himself but to do what he has said. There was a time in the life of Daniel where Daniel stumbled upon the written prophecies of the books. And when he saw, he understood, he perceived in the spirit that there was a prophecy that was given to the nation Israel, specifically the city of Jerusalem and his people. And Daniel perceived and understood that by the prophecy of Jeremiah, which can be confirmed by Abraham, that your people shall be in captivity for 70 years. He understood that the 70 years, by the time the prophecy proceeded from the throne room of God, and the era and the time in which they were, the prophecy should have been fulfilled. But Daniel realized that the prophecy was not fulfilled. So Daniel had to do something. But we live in an era where we have received a lot of prophecies. And from the time the prophecy proceeded from the throne room and the time in which we are, the Spirit of God is speaking to us that this thing is supposed to have happened. But we are in times and seasons where believers are so lazy, where believers don't take anything serious, where believers are not sensitive to the things of God, where believers don't even write their prophecies, where believers don't have books for visions, believers don't have books for their prophecies. So if they die without a prophecy being fulfilled, the generation that will come will not be able to trace the prophecy God gave and ensure and ensure that it happens. This generation are taking God for granted. This generation is joking. This is the only generation, this is the only church, this is the only dispensation where people take the voice of God for granted, where people hear the voice of God and they do not do anything about it. People receive prophecy and they do not pray about their prophecy. People become complacent about their prophecy, waiting for the prophecy to happen by itself. In the economy of God, it doesn't work that way. The Bible says that forever, oh God, your word is settled in heaven. As for the word, it is settled in heaven. What God is telling you is settled in heaven. In the eyes of God, what God is saying, it has happened already. But God cannot enforce it on earth. God needs a human being. God needs an enforcement agent. You are the enforcement agent to enforce the word that is settled in heaven. To happen it on earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Is, is somebody following me? Oh, but, but yeah. the, you see, the laws are there, but the enforcement agents are not working. Hmm. So when we receive prophecy, it's as see God is a liar. But I tell you, God is faithful. He cannot lie. God cannot deny himself. If God can do something, he will not say it. You are not the first person God will lie to. So something is wrong somewhere. When a prophet speaks a word and it's not coming to pass, something is wrong somewhere. 
It, you have denied laws. They are laws that are associated with everything. <laughs> it is because you are not following the law. And you know when you break a law, the enforcement agents will arrest you. So your prophecy has been arrested. Hallelujah. Sometimes it is not the devil who arrested your prophecy. But by default, by the law that have been instituted in the economy of God, they are responsible to arrest people who break that law. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, you have a lot of prophecies. I can tell you that if you can take one prophecy serious and pray and then fall that prophecy to pass, it will happen. The Bible said that, and when Daniel understood that the time has elapsed, the prophecy supposed to have come to pass, the prophecy supposed to have been fulfilled, the liberty of Jerusalem supposed to have been released, but they were still in captivity. They were still poor. They were still struggling. Things were still not going on. Things were still wrong. And Daniel said, no, there's something wrong. What did Daniel do? Daniel went for 21 day fast. By the grace of God, prophet Kabla Poku will fast. He will pray throughout the night. And God will give him a word. He gives the word to you and you go and sleep on the word. He gives a word to you. Don't pray up the word. So now, prophecy is breeding complacency and laziness in the body of Christ. So instead of prophecy to benefit us, prophecy is rather making us relax. You see, complacency, laziness is killer of destiny. It doesn't take you anywhere. When you are not a prideful man, it won't work. There are only few prophecies that are announcements from heaven. And you don't have to do anything about it. I don't have time. I would have gone into those teachings. Hallelujah. You are not doing anything about your prophecy. God sent me to you today to tell you you got to do something about your prophecy. You know, quite recently, the Lord gave me a prophecy and it was a reproof. It was there's something I'm not doing right. And God is saying that that area of my life, I'm not allowing him in. And you know, God will always defend his jealousy when you give certain part of you to him <coughs> and you don't give all to him, he will be jealous. So you will always defend his jealousy. And beloved, God was moving me. I went for three days fast. I went for three days fast, asking for forgiveness. Are you there? Yeah. Are you with me, beloved? I, 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 I went for three days fast. And asking, asking for forgiveness, the Lord, I repent. Believers don't want to repent. Praise the Lord. You don't want to take the prophetic word and do something about it. I want you to lift a prayer and pray and say, Lord, whatever is holding my prophetic word, Jesus, you, whatever is holding my prophetic word, by now I should be UK. By Jesus. now I should be US. By now I should be earning $15,000. Something went wrong. Something went wrong somewhere. You told me something some time ago. It has not happened. It has not happened. Lord, let it happen. I enforce it today. Let that word manifest. Let that word manifest. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I have just 30 minutes. Lift a prayer. Lift a prayer. Release your prophecy. Release your prophecy. 
I want us to look at something at First Timothy one eighteen. Or the apostle, the giant in the economy of God, <laughs> was advising his son Timothy. And the Bible says, he said in 1 Timothy 1.18, he said, This charge I commit to you, O oh, my son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you. He said, This charge I commit to you. My son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. So this tells us that prophecy is for warfare. Huh. So that one will not engage in warfare anyhow. Amen. Uh, has a direction as to how we will wage war. In the economy of God, time is very, very important. And you must not waste time. So one of the ways God preserves time for the saints is prophecy. So that when you are waiting for, you know exactly where you are going. You know exactly what to pray for, exactly what to do. Beloved, when the prophecy is in the womb of God, the devil doesn't know. So there are no so much attack. But when the prophecy comes out, the enemy gets hold of the prophecy and he attacks your prophecy. 
That's why it is a war. You have to wage war and ensure that your prophecy comes to pass. This morning, open your mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost and wage war, wage some war and arrest us of prophecy, contagious of your prophecy. May the power of God come against the contagious of your prophecy, the arrest us of prophecy, by wage war, by your prophecy, wage war. Say, Lord, you drop me this, but it does not happen. Open your mouth and begin to wage war. Begin to wage war. By them, by this prophecy, by the prophecy previously to you, command the gaga, wage war, wage war. Ibu <laughs> 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, somebody tell a friend God is here. God is here. God is here. God is here. Tell them God is here and I didn't know. God is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 uh. Just, just as I said that. Oh, is there is there a background on my? Yeah, uh, God is telling me something right now. Just as I said, God is here, and I didn't know. The Lord dropped in my spirit and said that, in fact, we must sow a seed today. I don't know Man. why you do that. I don't like that. I don't know. But sow a seed. Sow a seed. Prophetically, God is ministering to sow a seed today. Because something is happening. And somebody had to do some sacrifice. It's not by force. Hallelujah. But as I led, as I'm led, I it just this is one of let's go on. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 14. Joshua chapter 14. Verse 9 to 13. So on that day, Moses swore to me, the land on which your feet have walked will be your inheritance and that of your children forever because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. Now then, just as the Lord promised, underline, now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for 45 years. Since the time he said this to Moses, while Israel moved about in the wilderness, since the time he said to Moses, why Israel moved about the wilderness? So here I am today, 85 years old. I am still as strong as today. As the day Moses sent me out, I am just as big lost to go out to battle now as I was there. Now, give me this hill country. Now, somebody say, now give me this hill country. Now, give me this hill country. That the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Amalekites were there and their cities were large and fortified. By the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephina, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. Hallelujah. There was, there was a promise given to you. That promise. There was a promise given to your father. There was a promise given to your mother. There was a promise given to your posterity, and the devil killed your father, hallelujah, before his time. I don't know whether I'm prophesying to someone. The devil killed your mother because of that inheritance. But you were born a time like this to redeem that inheritance. You are not alive for nothing. So you are not alive for nothing. Because there is something you need to fulfill on the agenda of God. There is an inheritance in the family. There is an inheritance for you. And the devil doesn't want to give you. But Kelly was saying that Moses promised me that land. Even though the time Moses promised me, they were, the Amalekites were on the land. It looked impossible. It looked as if that vision cannot come to pass. At the time in my states, there were a lot of oppositions. There were so much to suggest that that prophecy will not come to pass. And Caleb said that, but I'm still alive. 
and I'm strong, so I will go for that inheritance. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Moses, he said, the servant Moses told me that this is God, this is the promise God gave. Mm. Maybe when you came to this platform, God told you something. Maybe God mm. told your mother something. Maybe God told your father something. Mm. You see, we will not repeat the mistake of our fathers. We have to start writing our visions and prophecies down so that our children, when they take the books, they will know what the Lord said and they will go after mm. their inheritance. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Lord, give me Hebron. Oh, the Hebron you promised me, give it to me. I'm strong now. I'm going for it. I'm going. I'm going after the Amalekites. Any Amalekites that have occupied my land, I want you to pray and say, the Lord, any Amalekites that have occupied my land, let them release my land because it's God who promised me that land. It's God who promised me that thing. It's God who promised me that gift. It's God who Promise me that miracle. Oh, release my miracle for me. Contend against any Amalekite. You see, any vision, any prophecy, you need to fight. You need to wage war. You will meet Amalekite to occupy your land. You will meet so many opposition that will occupy your land to suggest to you that the vision will not come to pass. But we are praying and contending and said that oh, Amalekite will the land for me because the servant Moses said God would give me that land and I believe God will give to me. What is it that you are believing God for? What is it that God has told you that you have not received? What is it that God has promised you that opposition and so many other things are fighting? Kabuda, Rabida Kusadaba, Rakusaba Daga, in the life of Jesus, Rebecca Kabu, Abin Kabu, Shabada, the strength of Kabu, Ted your neighborhood, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, bring the prayer session to a close very soon, so that I will allow the man of God to bless us. Thank you, Jesus. Speak the mind of God to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I know you believe in direction. We are going to pray for direction. It's one of the things the body of Christ has filled. The body of Christ has filled. We do things by ourselves. But in the realm of the spirit, God has instituted, have put certain things in place which are responsible for the resolution of certain things. And the sponsor restoration and the shorten times so by the direction of god you are able to do you are able to send time you, you are able to save a lot of time because you know exactly what to do you don't do try and error hallelujah mm -hmm. the body of christ doesn't like seeking the place of the lord seeking mm -hmm. for direction mm -hmm. that's why we are suffering so most of the times we are going a direction god has not access to go mm -hmm. And that's the main reason why there are a lot of delays mm. in the church. Mm. But today, I know we are going to repent. Yes. I want us to look at Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. He said, In the years, I hear a word behind you. 
This is the way. Walk in it. This is the way. Walk in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Hallelujah. Amen. For some of us, we need to take a U-turn. Because where we've got into, we are the verge of disaster. We are about losing everything in our business. We are about losing our marriage. We are about losing our family. We are about losing our job. Because we didn't listen to God. But today, you are going to repent and say, Lord, forgive me for not listening to your voice. Your word says that I will hear a voice. When I go left or right, I will hear a voice. Father, let me hear a voice. In all my Amen. dealing, let me hear your voice. When I Amen. go wrong, let me hear your voice. If I am distracted, in a deep, in, in, let a deep sleep fall on me. And, and whilst I'm asleep, whisper into my ears, let me not fall into the wrong direction. Let me not go in the wrong direction. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The Lord, speak to me. Your word in Isaiah say, I will hear a voice. When I'm going wrong, I will hear a voice. Father, I want to hear your voice. Father, I want to hear your voice. Whatever I'm doing, whatever the reason I'm taking, whatever the reason I'm taking, which is not in your will. Lord, let me hear your voice. Father, let me hear your voice. Father, let me hear your if I have gone ahead of you, let me not fall into the trap of the devil. Let me not fall into the trap of the devil. Papa, let me hear your voice. Papa, let me hear your voice. Papa, speak to me. Anytime I take a decision, which is not in your will, Papa, speak to me. Papa, speak to me. Papa, speak to me. In the ministry, speak to me. In the ministry, speak to me. In the ministry, speak to me. In the marriage, speak to me. In the business, speak to me. Let me not assume. Let me not assume that I know. Papa, let me not assume. Let me Amen. Something happened. You see, most of the problem we go through. We need just a direction and we come out of it. But most of us, we do it by our own strength. The Bible says that there was this prophet who died leaving death behind. And then the wife went to Elisha and said that, you know your servant was faithful when he was alive. But he left the dead behind. So they are coming for all our children. But Elijah sought a direction from the Lord. And just one direction. Ha! Just one direction. You don't need Jesus. To. That's why I said that the body of Christ is joking with the prophetic gift. And the prophetic gift is under so much attack because of this. 
Because there are so many things we don't need here. The prophet came just one direction. And the woman was out of debt. He said the family. Maybe you are going through certain terrible situation. Maybe you are going through something. Thank God that God, I need one direction. Which have been allocated in the heavenly places for that problem. For every problem, there, there are locations in the realm of the spirit for them. And when we are able to enter into the mind of God, the Holy Spirit, and bring down the intelligence, you are going to solve certain problems without struggle. And we want to pray, but I need one direction. The body of Christ must not be confused. Ah. We must not walk in darkness. Yes, because Lord. we have a God who is light. Darkness cannot contend with light. Tell God and say, God, this is my problem. What I'm going through. God, give me one direction. Yes, Lord. Say, give me one direction. Open your mouth and say, God, give me one direction. This is my issue. Give me one direction. What to do so that my husband will change? What that sin to do so that my wife will change? What that sin so that my business will turn around? What that sin that this debt will be changed? This problem in my workplace. Give me one direction, just one direction, Lord. I need just one direction. I need just one direction. I need just one direction. I need just one direction.
to lift it on our own. Bible says that when Jesus says the final prayer, we are praying the final prayer and we allow the prophet to come in and be a blessing to us. I always want to hear his voice. He has a sweet spirit. Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible says that when Jesus was tempted, the devil said, Prove yourself. Prove something. By turning this stone into bread, for you are hungry. And Jesus said, Look, I don't need, I don't need to prove a point. I don't need to prove a point. Because I know whom I'm serving. I know what I've heard from him. That's what, in case you don't know, in the economy of God, what gives us rest, what gives us peace and stability is the voice of God. Because we know he's faithful, he cannot lie. So Jesus told me that man shall not live by bread alone. Bread is only for the body. But for your spirit and soul to live, Jesus is saying that for a mother to live, though he needs bread, bread alone is not enough. He needs daily bread from God, which is the voice of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. You need a word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And when you get that word, that word will keep you going. And Jesus said, give us our daily need. It means that you need that word every day. The, the, in the kingdom of God, there is a daily allocation for the children of God. Wow. Whatever we need in the day is allocated. And it was what God was it was what God was teaching the Israelites. Teaching the Israelites. To the manner, to the manner, and he said that when, he when said you don't that keep some, you don't keep some, and show all for the day, and the next day another one will come. So some of us who don't like doing our Bible study every morning, we are losing a lot on the agenda of God. That allocated blessing has passed you back. And you are, and you see, and that particular day you are dead. Things are not going on well because you did not hear the voice of God that day. So you were not alive. Hallelujah. This is just by the way, I'm bringing the prayer to an end. But the last prayer we want us to pray is that the Bible says that the Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and he entrusted with his care everything he owned. That is Genesis 30, 27. From the time he put him in charge of his household and all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of the teacher because of Joseph. If the Bible is yours, underline because of Joseph. The Lord blessed them because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both in the house and in the field. Hallelujah. Genesis 30, 27, he said, But Laban, but Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Amen. The last prayer we are praying, is our Lord, let my family member repent. Let a family member of mine be saved because of me. Let something good happen to somebody associated with me because of me. Let my workplace, everything prosper because of me. Amen. Let everything that concerns me prosper because of me. 
Open your mouth. This is the last prayer. I want you to pray. You have some family members. You have certain things. There are a lot of people who don't do them. They don't have the investment. You take certain blessings.
God bless you so much, Pastor Ransford. God bless you for a powerful ministration and a powerful time of warfare prayers. May the Lord increase you. We pray that God will bless your family, everyone, and everything connected to you. People of God, we want to lift up prayer for the man of God. We are praying that may the Lord protect him once again. As he's yes. ministered, may the Lord himself protect him. May the Lord cover him. May the Lord cover his wife. May the Lord cover his children. May the Lord cover his business, his work, whatever he needs us to do. We are praying in the name of Jesus. And may God in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen. 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 i'd like to pray for i like one man of god a man of god chalinova if you are still there please i'd like to pray for amba there's a lady there's a name on the platform a m b a and i heard the lord say i should pray i should ask you to pray for that person for healing against any oppression, against anything that is not of god any oppression from the enemy man of god i don't know if you are there but you can please say a prayer for amba amba 
Thank you, Jesus, for your daughter. Oh God, Amba, into your hands this very hour and day. We pray, oh God, a visitation. Your word says that the Son of Righteousness will visit with healing its wings. I pray, oh God, that may that visitation come upon your daughter Amber now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Oh, that let there be a divine operation in her system now in the mighty name of Jesus. Infused by faith the blood of Jesus right now into her blood system in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and overturn anything meant to destroy her and we overturn it of Jesus this very hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O God, uh, by the authority of Jesus, O God, uh, and say, O God, that Father, may she gain strength, O God, like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. O God, that may every part of her body receive a divine Touch right now in the mighty name of mm -hmm. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, that any hidden, oh God, that sickness, any hidden arrow disease, oh God, in her system now, we pray and uproot it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We in pray. The name of Jesus. Is healed. Uh, we declare your word says in Jeremiah that heal me, Lord, and I shall be healed. Uh, and I yes, pray. Lord. Uh, verse over her life, oh God, uh, the Father, we are declaring that she is made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Tomorrow by now, may she, oh God, uh, walk in greater strength in the mighty in name, the of, name of Jesus. Amen. Do what she couldn't do before in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. We call Amen. her bones back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare, and I declare with the man of God's faith uh, and all men of God's faith together that she is being made whole in the name of Jesus. Verse every sickness in the spiritual realm uh, and in we the name of Jesus. The manifestation and power of God uh, into her physical being now in the name of Jesus. No oppression shall come before her, uh, but she will she will live, she will live and declare the good works of God in the mighty yes. name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you so much, man of God. Thank you so much, man of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Before I go on to minister, there's someone during the course of the prayer, the Lord was ministering to me that there's somebody, you bought something like a chain, a chain that you put around the neck, a chain around the Medina area, around the Medina area in this month of November. And my eyes, I saw that this person so you are connected to someone that is called chief. There's someone around you called chief. Chief. C-H-I-E-F. And there's something around you. The number 23. The number 23. That thing that you bought, the Lord opened my eyes in a vision and I saw that what you bought was taken from a dead body. <laughs> a person's chain is what you've bought and put around your neck. And the Lord spoke to me and said, I rebuke any spirit of death because mm -hmm. some a trade has taken place spiritually and maybe you can contact you, I don't know. But I just saw a dead, but the Lord took me to a cemetery and I saw a dead body and I saw a chain being taken from the person and being sold to you. The person was around the Medina area from a shop. I don't know who you are. I can put it in the chat box or you can send me a private message if you don't want anyone to see or know. But the Lord is with you. Just take off. Don't wear anything you bought around the Medina area because it's a spirit of death, a serpent that is in the form of a chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let us take this word serious. Please, it is a, something that has been exchanged in the realms of the spirit from a dead person that has been handed over to you. But the Lord has said that if you will pray, and if you you come, you, you, I mean, you raise your hand or you, you contact me or whoever you want to contact, the man of God on the platform, we can pray with you and that power will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I want to pray for Jemima. I prayed for Jemima. Woman of God, I saw you climbing a ladder. I saw you climbing a ladder. Hallelujah. I saw you climbing a ladder. 
and I saw that you were climbing the ladder, but now even the vision has changed. I see you entering into a certain plane, Delta Airlines, A126. Yes. I don't know what is in America for you, but I see like a man calling you from America. Amen. And but my husband is in the States currently. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Okay, okay. There's something there you are, you are supposed to go there. I don't know whether you plan on moving, but there's something that you are supposed to go and do in America because I've Amen. sensed that you are supposed to relocate. Amen. You are supposed to relocate. And I pray in the name of Jesus that may God give you the bonus and everything that you are waiting for. Amen. What waiting for, for you to make or take that step. I pray Amen. in the name of Jesus that May those documents and everything you are believing the Lord for, let those be released in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. I hear Amen. the Lord saying that He is opening your ears. Amen. He's opening your ears. And I see Amen. that something is coming out of your ears. And Amen. Like something like I see something like a megaphone. You Amen. know, that's yes. And I see it moving. It's like I, I hear the Lord speaking into that mega. The Lord is saying, Amen. I'm going to hear his voice clearly. Yes. And that Amen. people walking in the narrow way. That is what Amen. he says to tell you that. Walk in that narrow way. Amen. Walk in the narrow way that you have chosen. For that one Amen. will lead to eternal life. For broad Amen. is the way that leads to destruction. Thank you, Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. But even as you chose the narrow way, he himself will bless you. And that is Amen. an encounter. It's a dream that you are going to have. Amen. And the Lord is going to anoint you in a dream. Amen. And I see it at next level anointing and elevation coming your way. Amen. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pray for Charles Leslie or Daniel, man of God, I pray that let there be release. Let there be a release. Of God's healing around your life. Healing around your life. I see something. Something. A, a green substance coming out green of your stomach. Out of your stomach. And the Lord is telling me that there's a condition, something around your intestines that He is healing. And the Lord says, I should tell you that by 25th of December, any pain in your body is going to leave. Anything that mm -hmm. the devil has struck you with by Christmas this year, the Lord is saying that he's taking Lord those things out, out of your body. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I see something like, Amen. I see something Amen. like these pains, I adore and pains and people, witchcraft working against you. Witchcraft working against you. And that person that is doing this is doing it from the Mamprobi area, a place where they sell bread. But the Lord is saying that any divination and any enchantment against you, I should tell you that because of your mother's prayers, it will not stand. In the name of Jesus, it will not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Nana Ikria. I pray for Nana Ikria. I pray Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I see two angels by you, woman Amen. of God. I pray that may the angels of God protect you and your family. Amen. I pray for, the for you. Amen. I pray that may the blood speak for you. Amen. Every day, every hour. Amen. It's an altar of prayer that you have raised. Amen. And that altar speaks for you. Thank it's you. consistent Jesus. prayer in your life. Amen. And the Lord said, I should tell you that that consistent prayer is breaking and changing so many things in your family. Amen. And that be encouraged and keep on doing what he has told you to do. Amen. Because I see an altar of prayer and the Lord Jesus. says that keep on praying Amen. for things that are going to change. Amen. Things are going to change. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. God Amen. Bless God bless you. God bless Thank you. I pray for Mr. Andrew Aloti. I pray may the Lord Open up your career. Whatever you do, I pray that may God connect you to mighty businessmen and women. I see you walking 
in something like a factory and i see that the lord himself is talking to you and i see someone holding um like wearing something like an engineer's cap and talking to you about certain projects and i see something got in this factory i see biscuits i see certain things going on production of biscuits and other things and the lord says i should tell you that it's connecting you to factories i don't understand but it says connect you to factories and there's some Jesus. projects that are ahead of you i don't know what to do where do you work what are you into um i currently work with a, a telecommunication company okay um but um i'm really open up for a lot of businesses and i've been indeed wow. asking god to connect me with some people to help me do some things back in ghana right okay the law says that he's going to do it i see in about two months yes. something happening jesus name. jesus on the january area jesus january february i see some doors opening for you jesus and i pray in the name of jesus the law says that you have a good heart i don't usually hear that but because of the heart that you have he's going to answer you and the people that you are helping and the certain the prayers that you pray and the things jesus you've done in secret he's going to reward jesus you only. in the name of jesus and i will god bless amen. you may the lord amen. bless amen. you may the lord anoint you and protect you and deliver amen. you from harm in the mighty amen. name of jesus the lord amen. bless you amen amen amen, amen. Bless you. amen. 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 I want to pray for my big sister, the sister if I, I pray. If I, the Lord says that the name Anamad, I don't know why, but the Lord was ministering to me that your middle name, there was a contention between mommy and daddy, whether they should give you the name Anamad or in any way. But the Lord says that in the spirit world, it's like an Anamad is written amongst your name. And the Lord said that the blessings oh. that are supposed to come Amen. from your grandfather, oh. Oh. Your Anama, the Lord oh. said that he's given it to you because I saw prayers going ahead. And the Lord says that that Anama name will not be forgotten. But people mm. may sometimes, it's like he's handing over something to you. There's a next generation. And for this generation, He's calling the, the older generation. And for this generation, you are the one that is handing over the baton to. You are the one that is receiving the leadership rod. And so he's about to expand you from the left to the right. And the Lord said, I should tell you to, to, to expand, expand your tent. It's like begin to think big, but he's about to do bigger things for you. He's about to do great things for you. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. there's going to be an opportunity in the Cairo, Egypt area. Amen. The Lord is going to bring a conference, something of that sort, Amen. around you. And the Lord says that he's doing a new thing with you. Amen. And that no weapon from the against your children Amen. shall prosper. So Amen. they shall not stand in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has given you ideas ah. and is giving you understanding and is giving you patience and is giving you riches. And that any ritual that has been done to bring you down will not stand. Anything Amen. taking place at Lagos, Lagos, Orange, any ritual spiritually that has been done, that was done on 14th, thank you, Holy Ghost, November, let that power be broken. I declare the name of Jesus. Anyone that has ruled and say that we are putting a mark in front of you, you are drawing this line, and now you shall not cross this line. We declare the name of Jesus that you are a line crosser. You are Amen. a limit in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has done great things for you. It is about to do greater Thank things you for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says the blessing of the firstborn is about to do mega mighty things Amen. for you. It's Amen. about to do mighty things for you. Amen. I see Amen. a board, it's like a conference, and a board of academics that are going to be put on. It's mm. going to come a time where there are going to be people like, I don't know whether they look like external examples, and this board that supervises okay. certain universities and yeah, mm. certain things around Pennsylvania, mm. those areas. The Lord mm. said that he's going to put you in that place, in a place of authority. There will be judges there, 
There'll be Jewish there. There'll be so many people there. And the Lord is going to give you a voice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Wow. Time is fast, man. Thank you, Lord God. We see Arembe, I pray in the name of Jesus. May God preserve your mother's life. May God preserve your mother. May God deliver your mother from trouble and any sickness, any condition on the pit of hell. I declare the mighty name of Jesus that it will not stop. Amen. No weapon formed Amen. against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you at your workplace shall prosper. Anyone looking for your downfall Amen. at your workplace, Amen. may the Lord expose them. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord Amen. expose them. Those that are envious, those that are jealous of where God is taking you, may the Lord expose them and take away wicked people out of your life. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord bless you and fear you when you call upon him. May he come speedily. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you. I pray for Westman. Westman. I pray for a release of that contract. Let there be a release of that contract. Let there be a release. Anything that comes to take away what the Lord is bringing your way. I declare the name of Jesus and terminate that spirit. We declare that that thing will not stand. Whatever they do against you, it will not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus, politics cannot stand in the way. In the name of Jesus, what God has said will come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus, for the heart of the king is in the Lord's hands. Like rivers of water, he turns it whichever way he wants. And we declare in the name of Jesus that may the heart of the king favor you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, just like in the days of Esther, we declare in the name of Jesus, may God deliver you. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And I curse any fibroid around you, man, but I pray in the name of Jesus. I curse those fibroids. I curse those fibroids. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that may they melt right now. In the name of Jesus, I join my faith with the men and women of God on the platform. And we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no fibroids will be able to stay in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that as soon as you've put your home on the market and have had new viewings, May the God, may the Lord Himself, thank you, Lord Jesus, cause people to come and view it. You say you've had 10 viewings so far. May the Lord cause people to come and take it in the name of Jesus. Mark May the Lord favor you. May the Lord turn things around for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the man of God, Kojo Otu Adai. The Lord says that you have sown a seed some time ago. And that I should tell you that it is about to manifest certain prayers, certain prophecies that were said are about to manifest. The Lord says that certain things that were said to you, even on this platform, you are about to see it with your own eyes. For I see that there are certain Koreans and Chinese people around you. The Lord okay. says that it's a gate that is open. It's not a door. But I see a white gate, a huge Amen. one. That is open for you. I pray that in the name of Jesus, and I join my faith with all the men and women of God here. Thank you, May Jesus. God do it for you. And may that door be made open. Nothing Amen. will be able to shut that door. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name and we of pray Jesus. for God's elevation around your, yes, your life, your wife, your children, everything Jesus, connected to you. May there yes, be progress God. and elevation and expansion. Thank you, Jesus. Christ and glory upon glory in the you, mighty Jesus. name of Jesus. Jesus. Name. Amen. Thank, Thank you, man God. of God. Thank you. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Francis Kuma, I don't know whether you're a pastor, but I see a call upon your life. 
Let's start Francis Kuma. Hi. Is are you a pastor? Hello. Mr. Uh, Fran Fran yes, please no. hi. You're not a pastor. Okay. Yes, I'm not, you are not oh, yeah. a pastor. You are not a pastor. Okay. Yes. I see a call. Yes. Or you are preparing to be a pastor. An elder. But I see a call upon your life. I see the so the angels that are standing around you are not the normal ones that stand around people. There's a strong call of God upon your life, an evangelistic call around you. And so please pray to it. The Lord will show you what to do. There's a call, a strong call. You're you are a pillar in the house of God. And the Lord wants to use you for his glory. He wants to use you in the area of sharing his word and explaining his word to people. And people come to know the Lord because of that. May the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. I would like to go on, but because of time, let me see if I can pray for a few more people. Nicholas, I pray, may the Lord touch your finances. When I mentioned Amen. your name, I saw finances. I Amen. saw a wallet. I saw a wallet and someone put in money in it. I pray that may God cause you never to lack any good thing. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, for Abigail. Abigail, I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything connected to soul tomb around you, anyone throwing an arrow from there, I pray that let that arrow be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray Amen. for Rhoda. Rhoda, I pray that may God establish you and plant your feet on higher ground in the mighty mm. name of Jesus. May the Lord plant your feet on higher ground. I see you walking onto a higher ground. I see you walking onto something like a mountain. And I hear the Lord saying that he's elevating you. And that do not worry about what is happening. Do not worry about what is happening. You, For he's planting you on higher ground in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. I pray for justice, 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 justice. I pray for security around you. I pray for protection around you. I pray for a change of jobs around you. I see a change of jobs around you. And I see a mega door opening for you in the future. The Lord is going to connect you to a huge job. A job that will cause you to travel from continent to continent. May the Lord do that thing for you that you have asked him in secret in jesus name i pray for manza manza i pray may the lord wipe away your tears i pray that may the lord provide all your needs i see money points around you and the lord says i should pray that don't they, they will change from coins to notes i pray that whatever is happening around you whatever has taken all your money may the lord restore you May the Lord restore what the locust have eaten, what the canker web and the palmer web has eaten. Anything that has been stolen from you, may there be restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In three months, says the Lord, there's going to be divine restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Georgette. I pray for glory. I see glory around you. I see two eagles on your shoulders. Georgette, there's a prophetic mandate. There's a prophetic anointing that is rubbing on you. I pray that may the Lord open your eyes and the Lord open your ears for you to hear him and to declare the mysteries of his kingdom. I pray for Sisi. Sisi, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know who is Akus, but I see Sisi, I see Akus. I pray for any Akus around you, Sisi. I pray that may the Lord himself punish anyone that is trying to bring you down. I pray concerning marriage in the mighty name of Jesus, that may the Lord work out everything in Jesus' name. I pray for Adwa Adofwa Yebwa. I pray for the fatness of the earth. When I mentioned your name, I saw butter, and I saw that butter represents the anointing and also riches. I pray for the blessings of Asha around you, Adwa. I pray that may you dip your feet in butter, and may God cause you to expand to the left and to the right. I pray for Rosina. Yeah. Rosina, may the Lord himself give you a voice 
The Lord says that people have doubted you. People do not believe you. You say things and sometimes people think you are lying. I don't know. It's like I see you in a place where people are doubting your abilities. But I pray the mighty name of Jesus. that may God himself show up strong on your behalf. May God himself cause that stone, that cornerstone. May God cause you to be something that you never thought you'd be. The Lord is going to exalt you. The Lord is going to touch you. And he's changing your name. Your name is going to be great. The Lord will do a new thing for you. I pray for Henewa Edwin. I pray in the name of Jesus that may your marriage work again. I just heard the angel of the Lord say, declare that let her marriage work again. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that let your marriage work again. I don't know who we are married to, but I pray that may God restore the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory that was in it. Anything that has been stolen, I pray for restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Betty Osute. Betty, I declare the name of Jesus. Any thief around you, we declare that may God expose them. When I mentioned your name, the Lord took me to your house and I saw a thief. It will not come again. It will not happen again. Any plan of the wicked one to cause you to be afraid, to live in fear, let that power be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Betty, the Lord said that the opportunity that came, it might be gone, but he's bringing another opportunity. That travel door is going to be open to you. The Lord said that he's not a man that he should lie. I should encourage you that that plan, whatever thought, the word that came to you, the Lord says that he will do it again for you. There will be another chance. There will be another chance. There will be another chance. Don't worry, the Lord is with you. He has done it. I pray for Lorraine. Lorraine, I pray that may grace fall upon you. I see grace and I see a brother around you. I see the mighty name of Jesus that this brother is praying and doing certain things, chanting. I don't know what it is, but I pray the name of Jesus. Anyone speaking against you, I declare the name of Jesus that let that pot be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will not stop. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, it will not stop. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray for Thank Vera. You, Vera, I pray for a turnaround. I pray for counseling. I see counseling around you. I need counsel that you need. May the Lord connect you to the right person for you to receive the counsel that you need. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Evelyn. O A Tete. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let nothing slow down your progress in your schooling, wherever you are schooling, anything that wants to slow you down, any supervisor, any external examiner, I pray that may God show you favor before Amen. your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that Nigeria. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn things around for you and may the Lord heal you. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord heal you. Any condition around you that you are not even aware of, I pray that may the Lord touch you. I come against arthritis around you and I declare that you will live, you will not be paralyzed, you are healed, you'll be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Dr. Shola, I declare in the name of Jesus that may God's glory, the glory of the woman is her hair. I pray in the name of Jesus, anything that touched your hair spiritually, I pray that let that hand wither and I plead the blood of Jesus over your hair and over your head and over your family and over your children. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I speak for your children and your daughters. I declare in the name of Jesus that may God show them favor in the mighty name of Jesus. I Amen. see favor. I see favor. I see favor. And I see Amen. something like a, an award being handed over to you. It's like Amen. on a tree and someone giving something to you. I see Amen. the angel of the Lord holding something and handing it over to you like a jewel. And I declare, may God himself surprise you. May God himself grant you good health and strength in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, I pray that may the Lord himself grant you that travel opportunity. I see something ahead of you. I see ceiling. I see like a travel opportunity. I don't know what your plans are, Anna, but I declare in the name of Jesus 
May that great door open for you. I pray for they do Yako. I declare the name of Jesus. They know I pray and come against confusion and I declare that may the peace of God come over your life. May the peace of God come over your mind. I pray for a marital door to be open. I pray in the name of Jesus that all of a sudden, some way, somehow, there will be a turnaround. I pray for the mother. I declare the mighty name of Jesus. And your mother will live. Your mother is preserved. Your brother is preserved. In the name of Jesus, we declare that you will not bury any family member this year. We declare that everyone will live and no one will die. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, may God supply all your needs. I see a business idea coming to you, Dido. I declare that I made that business idea. Something got to do with food. I see food. I see myself in front of you, and I see you holding donuts and other things. And I declare that even as the Lord has revealed, may he make it possible. I pray for Evelyn, Auntie Evelyn, Asante. I pray for your husband. I speak healing. I see a sick man. I don't know whether your husband is normal, but I pray for the healing power of God to touch his body right now. I speak over him in the name of Jesus. And I speak healing over your soul, over your mind, over your body, your emotions. Thank you, Lord. I hear the Lord say emotional healing. Pray for emotional healing. I pray for healing emotionally. I pray for, for healing and restoration in the name of Jesus. I pray for anything that was taken away from you. Thank you, Lord, after 50 years. May there be restoration. I see something coming back to you. I see things you lost, bills that are coming back, in, even at this time. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God, Jesus, Lord God, our Father, may you do it, may you restore her. In the name of Jesus, may you do it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, Lord God. Bless you. I pray for Sylvia Tete. I pray for a release of finances and I pray for a miracle. I hear the Lord say that you need a miracle. I don't know what that means, but he just said, I see a man sitting on a throne and his hands, I see a hole in his hands and I see holes in his feet and I hear a voice from that throne saying, pray for a miracle. Pray for a miracle. I pray for a miracle for you, Sylvia Tete. I pray the mighty name of Jesus that let there be a miracle, let there be a turnaround around your family, around your relationships, around your husband, around your children, anything you are connected to. I pray for a miracle. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let the healing power of Jehovah let it touch you, let it touch your body, let it touch everyone you are connected to in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord said, I'm going to provide for you. Is going to provide for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for Thomas. I told Richardson, I saw a keyboard in front of you. Man of God, I don't know you, but I pray there's something got to do with music that you'll be connected to if you're not connected to it already. There's something got to do with music, and I pray that let there be a release of finances around you. I pray for my wife, Mrs. Ruth Opoku. I declare in the name of Jesus, may God exalt you and the hearts of a unicorn. I see oil coming from the clouds and coming upon you. I pray that let your prophetic eyes be open and your prophetic ears be open. And let anything that God has said concerning you, let it come to pass. I pray for Salma. Let there be a release. Ah, let there be a release. Let there be a release. Summer, I pray for your father and I pray for your brother. I see brothers around you. I pray in the name of Jesus that let there be a turnaround. Let salvation move through your home. Let the gift of salvation move through your home. Let the gift of salvation move through your home. I pray in the name of Jesus. May God grant you a voice. May God speak on your behalf. May God grant you a platform. May God himself touch your body as well and grant you good health in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. They're, going to, they're not going to spend your money on hospital bills. I declare and cancel that plan on the wicked one and declare in the mighty name of Jesus and superimpose the spirit of life and health in Christ Jesus over you in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. A divine health is your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Man, thank you. I pray for Mamea. I pray for Doreen. I pray that Doreen may the Lord anoint you. May the Lord 
touch you. I see you speaking in front of people. I see you ministering to people. I don't know. It's like I see you singing like in front of a choir. I see you helping people and it's like singing in front of the choir. And the Lord says that he's putting you in something like a choir. I don't know whether you're in a choir now, but there's something you're supposed to do in the house of God. And it's going to release certain things for you, certain blessings for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Amy. Amy, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The love of God and the fellowship. Amen. Let that be your portion. I pray for Amen. grace. The unmerited favor. I pray for grace for you. I see grace around you. And I pray the name of Jesus. I pray the Lord release grace. Grace. Great grace around you. Because the Lord is about I'm going to have a certain job that is going to take a lot of your time. But it's going to come over you some favor. Like the favor that came upon Joseph. That even in prison, the Lord made him a leader. And he was favored. I don't know, but I see great grace around you and great favor around you. That all do you are going to get busier. The Lord is going to give you grace and favor before your bosses, your superiors, your colleagues. And he's going to enlarge and expand you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and remember you in the name of Jesus. I pray for Cynthia mm. Dakwa. I pray. May the Lord cause you to hear good news. This week, when you hear good news, I see good news mm -hmm. coming to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for Benedict's pilgrim. Benedict, I pray for a release of your finances. Let there be a release over your finances. Let there be a release over your academics, your marriage, everything connected to you. Let there be a release right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your ministry be released in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Let clarity come. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's a ministry that the Lord is releasing. It will become clear. It will become clear. It will become clear. In the name of Jesus. I pray for Lady Royal. Lady Royal, the Lord says that but just thank him. Just begin to thank him. Move into a place of thanksgiving, for he has done it for you already. As you praise and thank God, God is going to do something marvelous in your life. I pray for Belinda. Belinda, I see you turning around, moving around in the 360 motion. And the Lord said, I should tell you that things are turning around for you and things are going to change. I pray for any brother of yours. May the Lord do that thing for him. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Kweku, man of God, Kweku Fulson. I pray in the name of Jesus that may the Lord himself, oh yes, Lord, Bring honor to you. I see honor and elevation. I see honor and elevation. Pray for that honor. May it be released around your job in the name of Jesus. I pray for Jennifer Ifwa Ofori. Jennifer, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. May God show you favor. God is going to show you favor. Jennifer, the Lord says that you are next in line. You are next in line. I don't know. I know the last time we said you're in Japan. I don't know whether you're also into a PhD, but I see like a PhD <coughs> in front of you. The Lord says he's going to honor you. He gives you grace. He says you are next in line for a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that let grace be released over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your mother. Jennifer, is your mother alive? Yes, she's alive, but she's not well. Yes, I saw her going, but I declare the name of Jesus. I saw her going, but we declare spiritually we can do something. Like Hezekiah prayed and he said, that, Oh God, remember what I've done. I declare the name of Jesus. Father, preserve the life of Jennifer's mother. Give her extension. We declare the name of Jesus. Give her extension. That's her extension. We ask you, Lord Jesus, gathered here on this platform. Grant her the extension. Let her see her prayers answered. Her prayers to pray for her daughter. Let them be answered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for Pastor Selassie. I pray for a release around your ministry. The Lord says that he's bringing finances and he's bringing support around the Amen. ministry that he's giving you. The Lord said that he's bringing strong support. That is what I hear. Strong support. Man of God, the Lord portion. The Lord has done it. And I pray for your family, your children, and everything connected to you. Let there be a release 
of God's providence, God's protection around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Lord God. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. I pray for a Rama. I pray for Rama. I pray for the peace of God. Let God's peace engulf your heart. I pray for God's peace. I pray for God's peace. Oh, I hear his peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Ifwa. I pray for a release. Oh, Lord. I pray that you be in alignment. You be in God's timing. I come against delay in your life. As the Lord just showed me his timetable, and I compared it to a timetable that he showed me in the spirit, and they were not in tandem. But the Lord said, I should tell you that he's correcting the times. When you walk in your prophetic destiny, any delay in your life, let that delay be broken. And when you move two, three years ahead in the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, when you always be ahead, of your enemies. I pray for Linda Dakwa. I pray for a release of God's glory and provision around the Linda Dakwa. I saw myself in a restaurant and I saw people gathered and celebrating you. We're all wearing white. And I see that on your birthday, your next birthday, the Lord is about to do something beautiful even in your life. There's something that is not a natural thing that happens on people's birthdays, but something as a release from the heavens that will be coming over your life the next birthday. I pray for Galaxy S8. Let grace come to you. I pray for D. I declare the name of Jesus. Let grace and peace and understanding. The Lord said I should pray for understanding for you. I pray for understanding and getting understanding. Get wisdom and get understanding. I pray for understanding for you. I mean, the Lord give you understanding. I pray for Mama Benny. Let it be a release, Mama Benny. God bless you. Whatever you sowed, Mama Benny, into the life of I see prophetess Abner Hackman in, my, in front of my eyes. The Lord said that he's paying you back sevenfold. I pray for Richard Balfour. I pray that may the Lord release over your life. I see oil rushing towards you. And I pray that may God connect you. Something got to do with oil, oil, oil and gas and rigs. I declare the name of Jesus. Let it be your portion. I pray for Deborah. I pray for, ah, thank you, Lord. I pray for grace for the assignments. Whatever assignments the Lord has given you, Deborah, the Lord is releasing grace over you. The Lord is saying that it's like you are under, um, you, are, you are going through a trial. That is where you are in the spirit right now. There's a trial that you are going through, but you will pass if you stay focused. You pass this test. Whatever assignment you are under, I declare that in the mighty name of Jesus, may God grant you grace during this time. And that as you wait on him, as you wait on him, and as you thank him, thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord said, I just keep on thanking him for whatever you are believing him for. And you see answers to your prayers. I pray for Edwina Ayer. I pray that may God bring that cooking business. May God bring it to life in the name of Jesus. I pray for it's your son. I pray for your husband and for your father and your father. Increase. I see your eyes opening wider and wider. And may the Lord open your eyes and open your ears. In Jesus' name. I pray for Mama J. Mama J, I pray for glory. Let glory come upon your life. Let glory come upon your life. Let glory come upon your life. You're going to meet somebody who owns filling stations. The Lord said that, as you tell that, you're going to meet somebody who owns filling stations. And that person is going to be like a divine helper to you and to your situation. The Lord knows you and the Lord hears you. And the Lord bless you, Mama J. Lena Opoku Brown, I pray for a release. I pray for understanding. And I pray, and I pray for your niece. K-N-E-E-S, that your knees will not grow weak. I pray in the name of Jesus, that may God strengthen you and come against any domestic accident. You will not fall for you Amen. to be at the hospital. I declare the mighty name Amen. of Jesus, that may God preserve you and your mother, and your sisters, your brothers. May God preserve your whole family in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. I pray for you, and you may the Lord release marriage. I don't know what it is, and I just saw marriage in front of you. I saw you taking a step. I saw you crossing a certain line. And I saw a man handed over something like a ring. And I see two page boys. And I see girls. I see some 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 girls in front of it. And I see someone, you know, riding a girl riding in a 
a toy car, even at a wedding. I don't know whether you are married, but I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord himself open that door for you. And then never say it is too late. <laughs> never say it is too late. I don't know you, but the Lord is with you. In Jesus' name. I pray for Janet Adepa. May the Lord fix your finances. May the Lord touch your body. May the Lord keep you as you preserve your body. The Lord is also going to give you more blessings. May the Lord enrich you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, th I think I'm done. Is there anyone I've not prayed for, please? I think I'm done. So, yeah, I tried. I had to go as fast as possible. Thank you, Lord. Prophet, you haven't prayed for me. <laughs> Dr. Phyllis. <laughs> yes, bro. Oh, Prophet. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Dr. Phyllis, I pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see a crown being put on your head. I see a crown. I see like someone handed a crown to you. And I see a golden crown. The angel holding a golden crown and, and putting it on your head. And the Lord says that he's made us kings and priests, even unto our God. But the Lord says that a, a, a royal anointing that is over your life. And that Thank there's also that it's a ministry that is coming over you as well. There's some Thank a ministry Jesus. that is opening up. And the Lord says, I should <laughs> tell you that by June next year, you see Thank the manifestation Jesus. of what you are praying for. Something Thank is going to change. Location-wise, <laughs> something is going to change. Something is going to break. Now may God do what he said to me yesterday. May God do it for you. May Amen. God accept you. And do it, amen. In the mighty name. Amen. 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 Son of God, please, it's left with me. Please, who is, who is that? Nanaye. Nanaye. Oh, I prayed for you, Nanaye. You didn't hear. No. <laughs> okay. And I, I pray that may the Lord anoint you right now. I see your palms, amen. someone rubbing oil in your palms. There's amen. a healing power, anointing, charismatic amen. power over your life and healing and the lord Ooh. says i should tell you that he's giving you Amen. the ability to also encourage people Amen. there's a gift of encouragement around you that you encourage people and counsel people now pray for that open door i see an open door in Amen. front of you and i pray that may god whatever that Amen. door is thank you holy ghost thank you lord Amen. i see a door in canada opening for you i don't know where you are but i pray in the name of jesus you know where are you located please I'm in Ghana, Accra. Ghana, okay. May that door open for you. There's a Amen. great mighty door that's going to open for you. Amen. Lord is with you. God bless you. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. I pray for Erajwa, Erajwa, Erajwa. Erajwa, I pray in the name of Jesus. Ah, please. Erajwa, is, do you know someone called Jacinta? I know a Jacinta, but I don't know. He's the same person. Okay. You are the same person? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. But I pray yes, the name prophet. of Jesus. I'm the same person. <laughs> okay. Okay. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release. I see fire around you. I see fire like an anointing over you. And I also come against any gas Amen. explosion. You don't walk into any place. Amen. But there's a gas explosion. I declare the mighty name of Jesus and may the Lord preserve you and preserve your husband in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus. May God reward you for all that you've done in secret and all the prayers you've prayed. May God answer you. May he do it for you openly. People may see and give glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Hey, oh, Joyce, Joyce, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your nephew. I pray that may God heal him. May God do something for him also on his birthday. I pray in the name of Jesus, Joyce, that may the Lord tell you. May people hear your story and say that I want to be like Joyce. May there be a testimony in all of this that you are going through, in all the hardship, in all the uncertainty and the difficulty. May the Lord turn things around for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Man of I God, think I've prayed for everyone. This is an enyunam. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Enyunam, I pray for 
Ah, are you the same as Enyo? Yes, Enyo. Oh, I pray though. Okay, you didn't hear. <laughs> okay, I pray the name of Jesus for 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 you. I said I saw a marriage. I saw. Okay, I didn't know it was you. I saw a a marital door open for you. I saw you crossing the line, and I saw someone handing over a ring to you. And I saw page boys, and I saw a girl, one riding in a toy car at your at your wedding. So I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever it is and how long it takes, I don't care how long it takes, the word of the Lord is true. And I declare the mighty name of Jesus. May God himself do it for you and turn things around for you. Never say it is too late. The Lord is with you and he will turn things around for you and people will glorify God on your behalf. There's a miracle that is about to take place. Something will change. And I also see the Lord touching your brother um, big hola the figure your brother hola yeah the lord touching him i see something that's like i see his heart and the lord touching his heart and bringing healing around him and touching mm-hmm. him and, and molding him i don't know what is happening in his life but it's like god is telling things around for him i saw mm-hmm. him in a, in a in a dark place but it's like all of a sudden something began to happen and a wind and a hand like an angel's hand just came and snatched him from that place and has put him it's like a green land and i see a river by that place and i see a well watered land like a watered garden i pray in the name of jesus may god do a new thing for you for her sake and for her land in the mighty name of jesus god bless you god bless you god bless you i pray for rosina pia rosina may the lord himself anoint you May the Lord touch you. May the Lord Amen. grant you. Thank you, Lord. I see promotion. Amen. I see promotion. I, see promotion. Amen. I pray for promotion. Amen. I pray for spiritual promotion. Amen. Physical promotion. Career. Amen. Promotion in terms of your career. Amen. In terms of emotions. Anything I declare. And let something change. Let there Amen. be a change. Amen. This December, what you are believing God for. Amen. Let it happen. We declare Amen. and I agree with you and I connect my Amen. faith with yours. I declare that let that door be open for you. Amen. Let that job, let it be open in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that may the comfort, sweet comfort of the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. come around you and your Amen. siblings, your family, even Amen. this difficult time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I pray for a man of God, Charlie Nova. Man of God. The anointing on you is so much. I don't know where to start, but I pray that may God himself, I see you like a mountain, man of God. I see a mountain, but you are that mountain. And I see something like a volcano coming down the mountain. I see lava running down. And I hear the Lord saying that it is like your cup is going to run over. There's a grace and an anointing, especially healing, that is coming over your life. That has come. And I declare the mighty name of Jesus. May God do a new thing for you. And turn face around for your wife. Thank you, Lord. And your mother also. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless everyone. Thank you so much for staying the extra 35 minutes. The Lord is with you. The Lord will answer you. The Lord will do a new thing for you. May he surprise you this year, this month and in December. May God himself do a new thing for you. Yes, and why I pray. The Lord says that he's going to connect you to certain politicians. I don't know what to do, but I see politics. I saw myself enter into parliament and I saw politics around you. The Lord said that he's going to connect you to certain prominent people that you're going to begin to walk and talk with kings and queens in the land that you live. The Lord is with you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone. God willing, we'll meet in two weeks. I didn't pray for my sister. I pray for Didi Abbasadalan Abbe. I pray for a release of God's anointing and God's grace over your life. I pray for healing around you. May God touch you. May God heal you. May God grant you emotional healing. That is what I hear. Emotional healing and physical healing. Jesus. God bless you. Everyone. God bless you, man of God.
people of god let's just lift up prayer for prophet kamino puku in the name of jesus as he's watered us you just want to just lift up your voice now and just commit him to god let's plead the blood of jesus over his life lift up your voice now in the name of jesus father we lift your son before you and bring him before you I'll kindly ask my brother Kweku Filson, Kweku, if you can just sum up our prayers for Kabna for us too. Okay, Enes, Enes, uh, can you please pray for Kabna for me? 
tell you, Father, we thank you for this day. We give you praise. We thank you for this morning and the time of prayer in your presence. Pray for one of us that God had and the prayer that was lifted up in heaven on you. We pray that your God will see to perform your word that was broken into our lives. And we pray for Prophet Tupuku and the family that your hand will continue to rest upon them, that you will lead them, that you will bind them together. You will increase them, that we will see, Lord, fruits bearing all around them. And we pray for his ministry. We pray for his home. And Lord, we will see your mighty hand at work in their lives. We thank you. We commit the weekend into your hands. We pray that other steps preserve us, increase us, we pray even for the rest of the month and for the rest of the year, O oh God, that every promise and plan you have for us this year, Lord, will surely come to pass. In this trying moment, in this difficult period, we pray that your children will flourish like the palm tree. We thank you. We give you praise in Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank, thank you so you much. Yeah, God bless you. See you in two weeks. Thank you. Have a good day. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God you.